Greetings, this is David from Roster Athletics. This video is going to go over the basics on how to use the new Roster Athletics registration platform to sign up for me. You may be familiar with Roster Athletics from our fantasy game and fan engagement app, but behind this, we have an entire integrated competition management platform accessible from any computer at any time to manage registration of entries, event scheduling, managing start lists and seating, interfacing with timing equipment, and then through our app, providing real-time results, running the fantasy game, and other features. All of this is in one place to make the entire meet experience much easier for the organizer, more efficient for athletes and coaches, and ultimately more fun and engaging for fans. So let's get started. We will first need to create an account from which we can then add athletes that you'll manage as a parent, coach, or athlete representative. We're starting here at the Ross Athletics homepage. I'll go ahead and accept the cookies. And we'll go to the Visit Competitions and Registration banner and click on this. This will bring us to the meet.rosterathletics.com site. And here you will see all the competitions on the roster platform including those that you can sign up for. You can always go to the meets.rosterathletics.com uh, page directly. <clears throat> to sign up for an account, we'll go to the upper right-hand corner and click on the Login button. Here you'll find that you can sign up and sign in using several platform methods, Google, Apple, Facebook, or create an, a new account using your email. But before Signing up using a platform method, due to global privacy and age requirements, we are required to verify your age before enabling the connection of a platform account to roster. So just for the first time when signing up, go up and click on the blue sign up button up here. And uh, it sees that I'm in the United States. Uh, I will fill in some information. And continue. I will uh, accept these cookies as well. And now I can go ahead and sign up using one of the platform accounts. So I'm going to use Google and use this account. And here I will see uh, several options. Uh, the first one under participation and the options here are that I can, <clears throat> I can sign up just for myself i can sign up others as a parent coach or athlete representative or i can sign up myself and others so i'm going to go ahead and pick the last one where in the future i can sign up myself and uh, other athletes that i am managing um, because i sign up myself i actually have to choose my gender uh, male and let me head in uh, just, just as a demonstration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just click yes and sign up. Uh, here are the terms and conditions of the platform. You can read through that. And after going through it, um, decline, but uh, if you want to use it, you'll have to accept. So hit the accept. And now I am uh, signed up. Um, I will log out. And the next time I log in, I can go ahead and just sign in with that account. And now we're ready to go. To add an athlete, let's go to the account page. And here you'll see a number of things. Uh, registrations, which are the list of competitions that uh, we've signed up for ourselves or our athletes, and currently we don't have any. And let's go to the manage athletes where we'll see the list of athletes, including ourselves, that 
uh, we're responsible for. And currently, there's only David Rosser Athletics. So we can go ahead and uh, add an athlete. But before we do that, uh, one very nice feature of the roster platform is that the athlete database on roster is synced up to the Talasapaya database, one of the leading athlete records and statistics databases across the world today. And we'll see how that works in a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and add an athlete where we'll fill out some information. Um, one thing that uh, I will show you how to change is just the date format in general that you'll see on roster. Uh, currently, this the default option is in a, a date, month, year format. So I'm going to go to a month, date, year, which I prefer. So I'll get a, I will get out of this, go to my profile and settings. Um, look at this display and here are the default options um, across the roster site. So I will go from date month to month date and we'll see now when I add an athlete that uh, or when I add a date that it'll show up in the month date um, year format. So let's go ahead and add an athlete. Uh, in my case, I am going to add Ryan Krauser. Uh, just as an example of uh, how the Telaspi data records uh, will look. He is born in uh, December 18th, 1992, country United States. Uh, and here we can choose a club. Uh, there are uh, many clubs in the roster platform. Uh, your club may uh, be here, but if not, let us know through um, uh, email to support at rosterathletics.com. Uh, I'll have a link and uh, hopefully can include that in the video as well. Put a link below and just let us know and uh, we can make sure to add that club. So. For Mr. Krauser, I will add Nike and now I will save. And what you'll see is that uh, when we add the name and the date of birth, if there's a match with Telasapayo, we'll be able to automatically pull up uh, his or hers records. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, we see I have Ryan. Uh, let's click on Ryan and go to his records. And here you will see his marks from uh, Talasapaya. And Talasapaya does an awesome job of uh, just always have, having the latest data and uh, accurate data as well. Um, and this is, you know, especially important when we, of course, run the fantasy game where an organizer will make sure to sync all the marks um, at the appropriate time before the meet and just make sure that uh, all the records are, are the latest and, and the greatest. Um, when managing an athlete, you can also uh, add records and edit records. Um, but as I mentioned, if uh, your athlete is in Telaspa, uh, we'll have all their latest marks uh, populated automatically. Uh, whereas uh, for David Ross Athletics, there are no records yet. So, um, you would be able to select each event and add the marks uh, yourself. Now we can go ahead and register for a meet. This list of athletes that we manage here is only something that we need to do one time, essentially. And that list of athletes will be there uh, anytime you log in, from which you can sign up to uh, any meet that's uh, open. Uh, you can always edit. The athletes and add and subtract them so uh, but this is essentially your list of athletes that you're managing so let's move over to the competitions and here you can search by name um, and there's a bunch of different search options and filtering options in this case we are going to sign up for the american track league louisville for uh, ryan krauser and so it's on the highlighted feature page so let's go ahead and find that. 
And here on the meat page, you'll see various information uh, regarding the meat, uh, some information, contact information, uh, what the meat is about, uh, the events <clears throat> that are uh, available at the meet. And if this meet is open for registering, you will see the register here uh, tab and then be able to select your athlete and then select the events. So here we are going to uh, take Ryan Krauser and select events to register for. And in his case, we are obviously gonna put him in the shot put. So very simple, we'll hit click on the event and register. In this case, the organizer has set up the meet to approve all entries first. Uh, so you'll see, uh, in this case, a pending approval. The organizer can choose to automatically approve all registrants, in which case, if there was uh, a payment, you would go straight to the payment. Or in this case, if there's not a entry fee, then uh, you'll just simply, uh, once it's approved, you'll go on the start list. So uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can uh, resign, your, resign your athlete. Um, uh, otherwise, once the organizer approves, then the athlete is uh, automatically on the start list. So, um, pretty straightforward. So, this is uh, how it works. Please take a look at our user guides and the links below should you have any other uh, questions or details maybe you want to look through. And feel free to send us an email at support at rosterathletics.com should you uh, have any questions as well. So thanks and um, hope to see you out there.